Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Kadar Vejan Apercar came up with for UMask and UMask DIR changing default MySQL file directory permissions. Kadar agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article here on his blog at the URL shown here. The UMask and UMask DIR environment variables specify to MySQL what file modes are to be used for files and for directories. This is necessary if we wish to access a database folder and table file in order to produce a backup. Kadar creates a backup user and assigns that user called backup to the MySQL group. Next, Kadar is going to grant that backup user read and execute permissions on the data directory for MySQL. By default, MySQL creates database folders with an access permission value of octal 700. Therefore, the owner, which is MySQL, has read, write, and execute permissions on that folder, but no one else has those permissions. Therefore, we wish to set UMASDIR to a value so that MySQL and the backup user will be able to access the folder. In order to do this, we can set the UMAS value to octal 64 0 and the UMASDIR to octal 750. Notice for the UMASK that the group will get a permission of 4. That indicates that the group will have read access to the file. Remember the backup user has been placed in the MySQL group. For the directory the group gets 5 so that the group can read and execute, that is to say, change directory to the database folder. Kadar creates a database called ABC and then creates a table called A. He uses the hyphen E option on the MySQL command line tool, which will cause those SQL statements to be created. And then he lists the folder and the table to verify that the permissions have been set correctly. I have recreated Kadar's scenario in MySQL in Ubuntu. I have created a database called Stephen. I have created a table in the Stephen database called Test Table. The UMass directory and UMass environment variables have been set ahead of time. Here I list the directory permissions on the database folder called Stephen. I also list the permissions on the table file, testtable.frm. Notice these permissions will allow the group to read and execute the directory and read the table file. Thanks again to Kadar for the inspiration for this video. For other articles on MySQL, visit his blog at the URL shown here.